But I knew I had to keep him happy because that's what Jeffrey and Gillen would ex expect from me. During the BBC Panorama interview, Virginia Jufri talks about the night this photo was taken. She was 17 and says she was flown to London by Jeffrey Epstein and his girlfriend, Galen Maxwell, then forced to have sex with the prince. This is not some sordid sex story. This is a story of being trafficked. This is a story of abuse. And this is a story of your guys's, your, your guys's royalty. I have absolutely no memory. The interview was done before Andrew's disastrous one-on-one. -on -one. I don't remember meeting her at all. In it, he was asked about Jufri and her accusations. He denied them all. The ongoing scandal has unveiled a potential turning point for the royal family. Prince Charles is reportedly stepping up his role in an attempt to get a handle on it. This is the time when she's going to lean on the people that she calls her substitutes. This royal watcher says rumors are swirling. The queen, following this scandal, may be looking to hand over the reins. The palace is denying that. And when she's ready to step back, scale down those duties and hand over to Charles, I think she will be the one to make that decision. Outside Buckingham Palace, opinion is mixed on how the royal family has dealt with this. They're not dealing with it. You know, it's, it's, I, I, have I changed my, my views? Yes. I mean, they're, they're gone down in my books. We have to wait. Cannot draw any conclusions before we have all, um, all facts. A lawyer for five of Epstein's victims has prepared subpoenas that could force Prince Andrew to testify as a witness. They claim he saw women and girls give massages at Epstein's home, but the prince has maintained he never saw anything suspicious. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, London.